It's hugely important for poor people, particularly poor people in rural areas, but also urban in tropical environments. And that's because of hard work, because of sickness, because of shortage of food, because of shortage of money, because of inaccessibility, being cut off from markets, can't get to the health clinics and the rest. And all of these things come together um, at the same time of year. And the second reason is that um, this is precisely the time of year uh, which is least perceived by urban-based professionals like ourselves uh, because we are trapped, uh, trapped in a sense, in, in capital cities or in urban centres. We tend to travel during the dry season when it's easy to get around and those are precisely the times when people are least poor, when they have most food, when they have most money, um, when they're best off. And so there's a misperception, an underperception of rural deprivation and poverty. Um, and linked with that um, is a whole set of professional biases, the biases of, of statistics, which are, um, are difficult to analyze or difficult to obtain on a seasonal basis. There are the biases of and the way in which books are indexed um, and what their contents are. The International Glossary of Poverty has got 27 entries under S, but it hasn't got seasonality. It's difficult to believe, but it hasn't. And um, university courses, how many university sessions are there anywhere in the world on seasonality? My guess is hardly any. Um, is, there's a syndrome of integrated rural poverty and there's a syndrome of integrated uh, season blindness. And these two interlock in a tragic way and we need to open them both up again and again and again. There's very hard work. There's um, a shortage of food and poor quality food. There's a lack of money. Uh, there's a tendency for sickness to peak, and children tend to be sick at this time of year, particularly the incidence of diarrheas. There tends to be shit all over the place, and it gets trampled into houses and gets into food. Uh, mothers uh, don't have time to cook a lot of food, so they leave food, and if, if the food is slightly infected, those infections, the bacteria, whatever they are, will multiply in hot, humid conditions. So the incidence of diarrhea goes up. That stresses families. People are very, very, they have a very, very tough time at this time of year, unless they happen to be um, members of the elite. So <laughs> we need to be much, much more aware of that and even to go out of our way to perceive it. But part of this almost, it's almost like a conspiracy of, of not seeing it. Part of the justification for not um, knowing and finding out more about this seasonal deprivation is, oh, it's a very bad time for poor people. It's not fair to take their time and find out and take at, at this time when they've got so much work to do. No, no, ethically we should go at some other time. Well, I would, I would say, no, I don't agree with that, and I don't think poor people would agree with that. I think they would say, we would like you to understand and to know more about the reality of what we experience at these times of 